Good morning, good guys. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Experience a blend of refined craftsmanship. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Breakfast Live. If it's the first time you're joining us, welcome to Breakfast Live, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Natural Dynamics. Good morning to you. And to each and everyone, good morning to you. It's one of those mornings, guys. First and foremost, before I go any further with my um, breakfast live this morning, let me apologize for, you know, the, the, the not coming on last week and, you know, being overall, overall you know, um, sort of slow down with our post. Um, it's a, it's, pretty much just the humdrum of life, you know, living and everything why we're not on as often as we we were. So we're gonna try to do something about that and I'm gonna try to um do a lot better. Alright, so bear with me guys. If you are just joining me, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Um you know thank you once again for those persons who um Yeah, may I, may I do some technical things at the same time? So bear with me. Good morning, guys. Good yeah, morning, so all. Give us Good a morning up. to you all. Welcome. Good to be live. Live, live. Go ahead and thumbs us up. Thumbs up the video, that is. And, um... Get ready for an exciting breakfast video. Right. This one is simple today, but you know, it's something that everybody will appreciate because even if you're on the go, this is something that you can whip up quick and it tastes good. So go ahead if you can and share the video so that you know your friends or your family everybody out there can benefit from the breakfast live also so if you have a video a, a platform that you normally share videos on we would appreciate you going ahead and sharing this one also all right so this morning we pretty much want you the guys to see what we are about today um we are doing you know a very very simple dish very very simple you know which jamaicans like but we normally don't do it at home we're making tuna sandwich yes tuna sandwich as simple as that so i was in the supermarket and i saw this bread you see it super bread watch it super bread super bread soup it's a french baguette and it was in publix yeah french bread made from scratch and it's so soft guys it is so soft and gentle. Is it the same bread that gets tough after a while? Well, you can toast it. So I just I just quickly decide say you know what? Me I gonna make a tuna sandwich and 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 you know we 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 Jamaicans like bumblebee tuna, bumblebee tuna. All right, so I have some bunch of stuff here because my sandwich now go normal. All right, now you know mayonnaise is the base of the sandwich and generally we use mayonnaise in our sandwich, but the wifey don't really too like mayonnaise, so me have a be very creative without me dress it up all right i'm putting some capers in there just because i have it we we'll also put some spinach just because we have it and more my sandwich be a little bit more health base i have here some pickles yeah um pickle slices i'm gonna use those i have some jerk see there honey jerk dip well i'm gonna say yeah 
on a jerk beat. Me, I gotta, come on and kick it up a notch. You understand? What is and capers? Capers is, 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 um, is capers. <laughs> it's, I think it's the seeds or, or fruit. It's from a plant. Okay. Yeah, I think it's like a, a blossom. The blossom that is in a, in a flower and then salt it. Mm -hmm. And it's used mainly in seafood dishes. Anything with seafood, them use capers. Bell pepper, I have those. And the wife says she wants some guacamole, so I'm going to try to incorporate that, depending on how fast I do the video. I incorporate the guacamole. Mm -hmm. Morning, Lock Crush. Lock Crush says she loves capers. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it adds flavor to the dish. It's a nice kind of salty you know, flavor that, uh, you know, kicks up and the, the dish to a notch. So do you typically make tuna, tuna sandwiches too? Uh, or tuna salad? <laughs> Is there yeah, that's sliced in the supermarket. Okay, okay, so okay, okay. Ash Farai, good morning from Tampa. Celery. You understand? Go over a little bit more. Over. So they can see your fancy knife. <laughs> now you want to use the ingredients as fine as possible so you're not getting no really big chunks in your in your um in your in your mouth. So you're dicing it now? Yeah, may I julian it first. This okay. cutting technique is called julian. All now, these medic I mean <laughs> culinary terms. Remember now winner guys, I'm not a chef. Are a professional chef. <laughs> yeah. Me just watch a lot of TV and me try to retain as much as possible what I've heard. I'll dance right? and say, here goes St. Hope and it's um, <laughs> crea creative. creative madness. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ali, you know it go already. You try with this, you know? Mm -hmm. So you want to julian the, 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 the celery at first and then you are going to try to get a, a little nice dice out of them. So once you julian them, see them now? You pretty much want to dice. I may use a nice little knife. You want a sharp knife to do this job. So celery is a must. It's like the go-to mm -hmm. ingredients for, for, for classic tuna salad. Our tuna um, preparation for tuna. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, I don't remember seeing celery in Jamaica when we were growing up. Or is it just that we didn't know it, so we did the parents didn't buy it? Them never really pressure themselves with what when we in Jamaica we are gonna make tuna salad. If we just do what we we, we put us onion and, and yeah. on mayonnaise. And whatever we have, you know? Yeah. Look a skeleton for make the green. You know, mm -hmm. so it was mainly again essential. Jamaica, that's the thing I like with Jamaican cooking is that we cook essentially. You know, only nowadays that we have more access to more ingredients worldwide because mm -hmm. Jamaica have access to, to top quality ingredients because now. of importing, because of importation that you will see, you know, most of these things start to, you know, get more and more exotic. So he has a big bowl over there that he's putting the ingredients in. Yeah. And I'm a meticulous type of guy, so bear with me, guys. Bear with me. All right. These are pickle slices. Yeah, all right. The days of I thought you were going to put that on the sandwich. but okay. No, I'm going to put them in a nice salad. Make the salad nice. Okay. And get a little tangy. And with all of these things, I don't think you need to add like anything with salt, cause no, know, because no, the because the tuna have salt, salt, the tuna have salt, the yeah. capers have salt. So yeah, just, so. And sometimes you want you want to use them type of something after those change your, your you see. Let me tell you something, guys, and you can agree with me. If you agree with me, say yes. Um, Jamaican breakfast is very limited, you know. Now that we have been doing breakfast live, and if you want to do something unique every week, you find that you really and truly mm -hmm. have a struggle. It's just about five, six, or seven different Jamaican breakfast dishes that you have out there. 
Yeah. Lock Rush said she have to run, but she look forward to seeing the finished product later. All right, girl. Have a great day. Thanks for, for tuning in when you can. We do this every Thursday at 9 a.m. or 9-ish. Mm -hmm. So as long as you don't, um, you're not able to come on live, then you can just look out for the video because it's always live immediately after. So have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye. So guys, right. uh, um, do you agree with me? If you if you are a Jamaican or uh, um, watching me now, can you tell me of a unique breakfast that that you know is not is, is exotic? Almost every breakfast we have done, you know, we have done um, um, liver, kidney, and them stuff there. What else we do? Akis. With the aki and saltfish. Salt Did you go grill. live last week Thursday? Al, you know, seven was was interrupted last week Thursday. And it's a struggle, as I said, Al, because some week we are busy, not only busy, but the fact that we have to research and, and do other things with our time. It's it's sort of very, very challenging. And every week where that we are live, it is, you know not challenging some but not being live is the exception yeah we're 99 percent of the time we're we are live, live on a thursday so it's just the one-off when we have appointments or something unexpected come up then and yeah. you know what happened to me too i keep i keep making appointments or setting appointments for thursday morning not remembering so i go live i don't know what going on with me now i get absent-minded my head is all over the place you know but um so you you put in the 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 something there and that bear with me guys it's gonna come out good mm -hmm. and then you cut the, the this is all of these are optional all right the 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 peppers and them thing that them optional because you want your your breakfast life to be uh you want your your tuna salad to be nice so you want to you want to put you know, use up the options where you have. And they look and pixelated. It's, it's, it is pixelated. Yeah, there's um. Keep the camera on one side? place. Oh. I'm gonna put it on and see if that make a difference. Yeah. And we've been we've been plagued by signal problems too. I don't know what's going on. We have got call Comcast. Don't it, babes? Mhm. Mm All right. Let's do that. Let's keep it steady. And look on it now. Look on the, the playback now. See, it look better. <laughs> I'll say it's not a problem. He um quite understand. He figured that, but he was still a little worried. <laughs> well, still... we, have, we, have, we have some things coming up here, man. Some things in the book, in the cards coming up. So, on the stay tuned. Don't give up on Yard Belly TV yet. How is your feed guys? How is this um the quality of the video looking on your end? Let let us know because um we're trying to figure out if it's why is it so pixelated on our side? Yeah, something doesn't look right on our side, but let us know. Is there an issue with the, the feed with the with the quality of the video? No, we, sh we by right we should have um yeah she said it's pixelated on this side too good morning morning ddl so you think we should try to put on by the wi-fi let's let's try to put on by the wi-fi hopefully it helps we are we are we are we are working with a a, a limited um system with limited resources and we have to go you know try to boost the signal or something Maybe we should change our our um It look better to it me. Looks better? Mm hmm Oh it's much better. It, um based on the playback. Mm -hmm. Alright, so as I was saying guys, by right we, we would have um cut these up. But we were caught up in the morning rush. You know? Well, this is it's in essence the cooking, so Right, right. <laughs> but you know it got ready, you know. 
Otherwise, we'll just be making this. Oh, it starts again. Zelma says it's better now. Morning, Zelma. How are you? I'll say nothing wrong over here. Okay, I, I guess. I don't know. It depends on the signal that you're receiving. On, yeah. Because since I'm, we're watching on from the same signal, so it probably come off as if something wrong. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, so if you're just joining, as you can see from the title, we are making a ultimate tuna sandwich and this one is yardy belly style so you know say it turn up no and it's again normal. it's i'm not claiming to be the 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 ulti, the expert on tuna sandwich i'm just making it to my taste and to the wife's taste so if you make your tuna sandwich differently please don't come for me i always have to put the disclaimer in because we get some comments sometimes may i tell you you the internet is a very very unforgiving place you know when them lick you them lick you them lick hot and them lick hot sometimes them hurt my feelings me, you know me not afraid of them me afraid them hurt my feelings i feel so bad showing clear over here good good you understand awesome. Awesome. sometimes them say you're so stupid you don't know what you're doing is not so aki and selfish must look mm -hmm. why you never cut out the thin them off of the fish oh you always talk too much them talk, them mm -hmm. lick that man <laughs> i tell you some hot lick and i'm like oh lord it's hard to be humble you know like there was a girl online live the other day and she asked the people how our dress look if your dress was too tight mm -hmm. Take it off! Yeah. Oh no, go on! <laughs> so she's like, y'all are so mean! So you no, ask man. for them for them opinion. <laughs> no man. Some people oh, hurt man. man. Somebody had put I had play some I had play some I put some food on the on Instagram a, a, a week ago. Um some mackerel mackerel rundown. Mm -hmm. And one person comment says dog food. Are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah. And I mean, I got a lot of good reviews, mm -hmm. but you always have that one hater. There's all, yeah. You know, I, like for instance, on my on my videos, I, no matter how many people like the videos and give me a thumbs up, there's always one person that gives me a thumbs down. No, not the same person. Like they YouTube. just watch and yeah. just say, let me just give him a thumbs down. I can't stand him. They hate me, but they're watching every day. Right. You know, that is so awesome though, because I can't find it in my heart to hate people. You understand? That's not me. Me now I'm not time for hate. Cause hate take up too much energy. And don't get it wrong though. Don't get it um twisted. We don't mind the criticisms. Constructive criticism is good sometimes. Mm -hmm. Hold on there. Marjorie says Rome was not built in a day. Stay positive, stay strong. You both are on the right track. Negative comments are just to make you stronger. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what I'll say. Hold on. Let me clean this thing because it looks dirty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cleaning time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. And sometimes... um. All right, listen, what I'm going to do, I, I'm just sorry to interject. I'm just going to cut up the green part of the scallion. Yeah, on it. Yeah, I'm just cutting up the green part of the scallions. Good morning, Hakina. Yeah. Morning, Kino. May yeah. I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as I was saying, constructive criticisms are good. But when somebody's going to come on and, and describe your food as looking like dog food, then they're not trying to help you. You, yeah. can, you can tell somebody that, you know, it don't look Because cool. I've, I've had present, people tell me, present, you know. Um, sorry, go presenting. ahead. Presenting. Presentable. Without, presentable without saying it look like dog food. That's just straight up being mean. I've had people tell me, you know, next time you're doing it this way, do it that way. And I've, and I've, I've responded to them mm -hmm. and said, thank you so much yeah. for, for your input. You know, it's great and, uh, and, and things. But, but then some people, it's like, you're so stupid. And where you come from? That, and the Jamaican, Jamaicans are mean. I know. Oh my lord, Jamaicans are mean on the internet. Marjorie, all right. Marjorie says she has to leave for work. Bless Thank up, you Marjorie. For, for checking in. Make sure to stay tuned later for the finished product because it's going to be late. If Jamaicans yes. cuss you on the internet, 
you're properly cost. You understand? My you may have it right here. What? <laughs> the, the thing. The no. deal with the matter. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. So I'm going to add the, 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 the... Show this. I'm going to add the, the capers now. Yeah. Um... Oh, that's a zoom button. Yeah. Know that. See? So I'm just using a couple, a bunch of capers. You know, not that much. You just a little bit there. Yeah. And them small enough that I'm not to cut them up. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm using the capers there. And pretty much my wife we had we had discussed this, guys. And this is again, this is unique to our um tuna salad. This is spinach. Looks fresh so spinach. It's pretty. so nice. Oh my God. And I'm just gonna chop it and put them in there. Again, you don't have to use this in a year tuna salad because you know, but I want more greenery and more freshness and more right. you know, and so I'm gonna rough chop this. Yeah? It's and just, balance, you just pretty much wanna bunch them up and you just walk your knife through. Yeah, watch your finger. Like it's called a rough chop, rough chop. Mm -hmm. So again, customize your tuna salad based on your own personal taste. Mm -hmm. You know, don't stick to the regimen. Don't don't allow yourself to be bottled in. Box, yeah, don't make nobody put in a box. Boxed in. Culinary sorry. box. Yeah. You know, so I'm just adding my tuna. My my <laughs> spinach. My spinach to my tuna. So when Kina not eat tuna. So when you're done with all of these ingredients and you add the tuna, pretty much you're, you're eating a great um, amount of, of vegetables. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You know, you're eating, you're eating like a, 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 a what you call it now? You're eating like a, a, a tuna veggie salad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you're going to put this down and you're going to, you can't open the tunas for me with the machine or, or no? No. No? All right, let me use, let me use my ghetto I style. I can't do it. You sure? Kina, so I'm eat tuna now. Ki <laughs> Overnight, I'm starting to eat tuna. Why, <laughs> may I tell you? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> may I ask him why, really, you know. All right, first before I got that, let me take out the bread. And see what we can do with this bread here. So I'm say you make good food. I follow your recipes exactly and it tastes good to me. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I appreciate love every comment. I do, I do, I do. Alright. Um I have my, my oven tray here. And guys, I'm gonna show you my oven tray. It is not dirty. It is just stained. Please don't come for me. Again, it is not dirty. It is just stained. Right, right. All right, and the wife says, Stain. the wife says she wants her, her bread toasted. Oh Lord, it's so nice when it's toasted. So we have a work on toasting the wife's bread. Do you understand? Can I get olive oil on my bread instead of butter? You can get anything you want, honey. What is this? You can get what you want, chulops. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to sweet up your wifey. My honey bunch. My honey my bunch. My nutmeg. My nutmeg, <laughs> my queen, because you know, if me are the king, then she are the queen. And I'm just opening this bread. What is this called again? The fine life? Oil sprayer. Oil mist, oil sprayer. A uh, mister or whatever. So we have this fine life oil mister that I'm gonna use to spray on my olive oil. It's such a convenient bottle, guys. You just put your olive oil in there and you just suction it. What do you call it now when you do this? Compress. No. Compress it. See it there now? And you open the bread like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who say boops? <laughs> <laughs> and you just spray on your olive oil. And be aware that it sends a mist of olive oil all over the mm -hmm. house. So you want to mist your face, you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> you see the oil? Oh my gosh. Where butter go? <laughs> go on here, butter. Yeah, where are butter for? <laughs> Lego butter, Lego. Yeah. So you just do That's it like awesome. such. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I need to put some more oil in it. And then because she already gone through with that now, I'm going to just add something. I'm going to just go on, you know? Because she, 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 she has style up the thing. I'm going to add some of this. This is a spicy garlic, right? And you just, and it has pepper in it, you know? And this is like a foot long roll. What do you call it? French baguette? It's very, very long. It's a foot long. <laughs> so I'm going to get half a foot. It, it, you know what that means? It means you like the long things. <laughs> you are so not funny. <laughs> you know I know me at all. I'll just know me at all. You know, even do the Bible study this morning. That's why I said it. I'll know me at all. You understand? All right, so may I put this in the oven? May I put this in the oven and come back? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to stand at the broiler so you have to All right, watch it, yeah? so back to our main event. Um, Morning, Shauna James. How are you? Welcome, welcome, so welcome. You want to talk about the Bible study then? Like how we do this morning we read Genesis and we have, have um, issues with it? Well, this morning, I don't even remember how the topic came up. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what we were talking about. We were talking about... We did see the video where the man said you're oh. supposed to take care of your husband. Yeah, I want them to see you too. But now work. So? Alright, so this morning we're watching a video, right? Where a pastor from Africa was talking about how a wife supposed to take care of her husband and the fact that, you know, m most women are not treating their husbands um, according to biblical recommendations. Mm -hmm. So in the video, the man was a little bit extreme, you know, talking about Very extreme. you must give your husband three, five me three meat out of five. If you have five pieces of meat, you must give your husband three pieces of the meat and give your picnic one piece of the meat and you take one piece of the meat. And if you have six, me piece, agree with that part. Then. If you have six pieces of meat, give the man four pieces of the meat, which I don't really see all that even. No, me agree with the meat, the giving the meat. That must be a very craven pasta fame gone all the way there. So in a big, big um, sermon, I thought, boy, how much piece of meat you man forget and how much they will forget. <laughs> but yeah, he was saying that and then he went on to say that um, a woman should treat a man like a king. Or and her man, not a man. Her man. Yeah, a woman should treat her husband. Let me say her husband. Yeah, that's the context. Should treat her husband like a king. And at first, but then when he started to explain, it kind of made sense because he's saying that if he comes under all kind of attacks on the outside from the general public and the world, when he comes home, he's supposed to be able to feel good about himself and you're supposed to be able to make him feel as if he is actually the king or the priest of his household. And um, if you can make him feel that way, then, you know, he what will actually... <laughs> <laughs> then he will actually start acting like a king and commanding that you know everything kingliness. kingly Kaya yeah Chumi is very king -shus. right the king ness so <laughs> he was saying that and you know it can that part, part kind of made sense so it, the conversation graduated to how did we start talking about um well we, we went to genesis because we did start talking about lion and, and tiger Oh, yeah, yeah. We started talking about how um, lions, the female lion, was the one who went out and actually um, made provision, found provision for her family. And she would bring back the meat or the catch or whatever. And then the, the male lion would benefit from that. And we were looking at Proverbs 31. Right. And we were looking at Proverbs 31, which kind of showed the female in in it says a virtuous woman who can find it's kind of more from an industrious level like a homemaker yeah. type thing not yeah. not that the female would be the one to go and well it, it does it provide. does speak of, of her industry meaning that she plants up it says something like she plants a field and and she makes sure so the field taken care of mm -hmm. to make sure so her family eat you know and thing and thing so it does Put the woman in an industrious sense, meaning that her job, where she get up and do, and mark you, 
this is not speaking about the woman as in force. Nobody now force her to do this. But she, her, as a result of her virtue, her virtuosity, her virtuousness, <laughs> she she's not slothful. Right. You see, nowadays you have some woman who them them treat man with certain disdain. You know the common the common assault, especially. Um, Jamaican men, well, Lord Jesus, me, me, it's hard. It's a problem. I'm getting them. I get natural trouble now. Cause some of the Jamaican man them <laughs> challenging. But the point is, if you are a wife, the the pastor was trying to to say, if you are a wife, your general responsibility is to treat your husband with a certain amount of of love. You know, certain mm -hmm. amount of respect. Um, and I, I mean, I expect that you guys are going to chime in on this conversation because it's not one-sided, you know. It's on Brian? Yes, I told you that. Oh, my Lord. Are you kidding the me? The bread bun it's not done regular. The bread bun up. 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 Me say bun up. Me say me say me say. All right. It's perfect. All right, sir. Yeah, man, it's still good. Good to go. I smell. I smell it, you know. Yeah. So, 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 me and the wife here talk now about the whole scenario, and me tell her say, as of now, she have to start calling me Lord. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh all right so guys so i have the tuna just take the tuna out of the out of the the can and i'm pouring it in into my bowl and i use two different kinds of tuna i use the one with the oil and i use the one with the water you choose the one that is more preferential to you um i find that the one with the the one with the water is is usually um they need to start putting doing canned tuna with actual chunks you have some the bigger the bigger the can is the more the fish are chunky okay okay yeah the bigger the can is the more the fish are chunky now i'm gonna use some tartar sauce guys in order to minimize the amount of um to um mayonnaise yeah. which i mean tartar sauce to some extent is mayonnaise anyway but I'm using the tartar sauce and and then I'm using Over. and then I'm gonna use some mayonnaise. Wow, I love tartar sauce, you see. I'm using mayonnaise with um, olive oil. Now this is where me and the wife always were because she said you don't have to use so much. Mm -hmm. But how do you zoom this? It's one time I click already. That's what you want. Mm -mm. I want to zoom. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, and then you just simply. Zelma says she's gonna have this for dinner over salad. Zelma, that's an oh, awesome. Oh, the tune. Yeah, this would be good. Oh yeah, we could just use this over a salad, you know, over a bed of like um With spinach or lettuce or, or kale. lettuce or kale that see that now awesome. guys see that so you basically cut the 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 tuna by half mm -hmm. and make your salad more rich with vegetables and and that type of ingredients and it's beautiful see really nice really pretty yeah that's all you want it guys and I'm gonna add I again what I do because of the wifey, I add my my um mayonnaise in stages so that I don't if I, if it's up to me I would empty the container mayonnaise in and it. You know what you could do? You could put mayonnaise on your bread. Yeah, I could. Some people do that. I could. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of my my jerk and you it's if you're jamaican you always have some wet jerk seasoning somewhere in the house um if you're not jamaican i suggest that you do get some wet jerk seasoning and have that in your house and i'm using here a honey jerk dip and i'm just adding 
It is really spicy and nice. It you have that authentic jerk flavor. And I'm just adding it to bring that type of vibe to our dish. So Yardi, where would you find something like that to buy? In Jamaican um, stores, Caribbean stores, Latin American stores, they all have jerk seasoning now. Oh, Shauna. Well, first of all, we cut up some celery. That's the first thing that we put in there. And some onion, some green um, onions too, which is scallion. And some red bell pepper. What else was in it? And then we put we put spinach. spinach. We, we cut up some spinach, fresh spinach. And um, then we just added the two cans of tuna, pretty much. Oh, yeah, and um, pickle. Yeah, we A couple did, slices um, of pickle. Yeah. And capers. Right. These are just our preferences, as I said before. Yeah. All right? And uh, I love the fact that it's not overly white. Mm -hmm. You notice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very colorful. And guess what you can add? You can add like French, oh. like um, ranch dressings. You know what I like in it? What? I don't know why I always like raisin? paprika and um, chili pepper. You want raisin? No. No. Yeah, raisin. Oh, yeah. Paprika mm. and... Um, Go get the paprika. Cayenne pepper. Go get them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, raisins, guys. Add, uh, um, I'll set to add a little cayenne. Raisins is a nice addition. Yeah, just yeah. get a little California raisin, mm -hmm. and you just add them. You know, and the raisin give that pop of sweetness when when you work. Put the show the cayenne. Show the. You can't add Miami raisin. Why have to add California? Because California Florida raisin. It. Them not my Florida raisin. All right, so just sprinkle in a little bit of paprika. I like. I'll say cayenne. If it's two pepper, I'll. <laughs> I'll. Me glad say you say so. Me glad says you say so, cause if it ever pepper. <laughs> what about all day? No, sir. I'm caring about the old day thing. All day. We need another all day too. Mm hmm Cause the old day I get old. So this is the cayenne Trader Joe's um, brand that we have. I'm just put in a little for starters, just in case it's already <laughs> See that pepper. little bit there? That little bit there enough though? <laughs> Why? Black pepper. We don't need no more pepper, man. Black pepper flavored. We don't need the... no black pepper. Who makes tuna without black pepper? It need more. It Don't it need more mayonnaise? Anybody out there, does it need more mayonnaise? No. Already white. I don't it need more mayonnaise. This? No, oh. there's there's um pepper in the in the in the pepper something in there you can add to that, that bottle. Are you kidding me? Where? Pepper in that something. Me if he said need look a bit more mayonnaise. Mind your bun up yourself. That's true. See? Um I'll say it need a little bit more mayonnaise. Kino, I'll. it need more mayonnaise? No. <laughs> Babe, don't do it need it. Can I take mine out? It need it. I'm not eating any. Ah, that means more for me. I got, you know, said that she do all the time, guys. I'm not eating anything. Guys, every time she have a discrepancy, she, she refused to eat. And then me now, with my full full self, hear me. All right, I'm going to give I'm not going to use it. But guys, isn't this a fair compromise? If you know you like the thing and you can't add it to your portion, just add it to your portion and not make the other person... All the portion is mine. And not make the other person <laughs> not enjoy the meal. That's just my take on it and I'm I'm getting very mad because I want my thing the way I want my thing. Then you can go shock a bite. <laughs> no more mayonnaise. Thank you EVR Jamaica. No Ever more Jamaica. Mayonnaise, eh? Look at the thing. You see it nice? That that's because me just put the right it's amount of mayonnaise now. Like it's supposed to be tuna salad. Shana say her husband always complain because she, she like mayonnaise. Easy with the mayo. Thanks Justin B. It's not even healthy. And it, it don't healthy, taste it's good. It's olive oil. It don't healthy and it don't taste good. So you I know, don't understand what... You know, say... Mm-mm. Mm. Whatever. Mm -mm. Boy. Oh. <laughs> it just need to permit it. <laughs> I'll jump a bit kind of. It just need to permit it now. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes so good. All right, taste it, baby. Taste it. I'm not doing that. Here are. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes so good. Wait one, do you want a little salt? 
want pepper. It want pepper? Put a little more jerk. Ah, uh, old beer. It no want no old beer. All right, new beer. <laughs> All right, put old beer. Trust me, the mayo will soak in. Well, I really don't taste it, so I guess it's I not know because you see, I know my thing. Mm, All right, I put a little bit more. Well, if I win this one straight, facts, <laughs> she's right. Thank you, Justin. Big Justin, up me lose out for you. I feel so hurt. Justin, big up yourself. All right, so guys, we're at with little jerk more. All right, stop. <laughs> you can't bully, man. Jeez, um, peace. Next week, my breakfast live, my Senegal shop. I don't no, no want you in the house. Uh, better yet, I'll stay in the bed and you make it and bring breakfast live. Yeah, yeah, and you stay in the bed. We shall have, in bed. We shall have breakfast in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> but again, remember now say you're supposed to call me Lord, right? Based on, based on what the pastor said this morning and what the Bible said. You understand? Sarah love her husband, so chase it now. That she call him Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> she take people videos, you know, that me notice. Blessed, love my Lord. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> listen to Lord Hope. <laughs> you know, sir, I don't really have to take the tongue idiot now. How it tastes? Want salt still? Want a garlic powder. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, want something to want. When you go to the supermarket, when you go, um, when you go with me in the, you tell them, say it want garlic powder? Yeah, yeah. When you go, um, subways? Oh, yeah, that's what it needed. All right, this is the label um, for the the jerk sauce called Caribbean Savories Inc. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. It's not, yeah, check Amazon. Amazon has you everything. Know? And I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to put the link for it. This is the old beer we just had a while ago. It almost done. We need a donation for my old beer. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> we need a donation to buy old beer. Alright, so this look like the it. This look like it's ready to go. EVR said actually nowhere is she commanded to love him. Nowhere. She, she is commanded to submit. To submit. He is commanded to love her. True. Right, right, right. True. And the the the, the irony of it all is that some men though want you to submit. And they don't want to show you love. The two thing is twofold. Right, but you it's not also not 50 50. It's supposed it to be 100 100. It's supposed to be 100 100. If the person not 100. So in lieu, you don't, you don't, you don't submit because I love you. Right. You submit because you're supposed to submit. Mm -hmm. And him love you, him not love you because you submit. Him, him love you because he's supposed to love you. That's how it's supposed to be. Guacamole get left. No, <laughs> me go, me go, go and guac. Me go and guac while you, while you. You, you do the finishing. But at the same time though, when you do one automatically the other one becomes easier for the other person. Yeah, it falls into, into place. So if you love me, it's easier for me to submit to you and vice versa. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And the Lord love a cheerful submitter. <laughs> so what do I do now? You want me to go ahead? Yeah, put in your... your you your, put these first. You put what first? You still put in your cheese on it? It's up to you, it's up to you, baby. Just just make the sandwich. Ask them how what it must that be. Is... Tell them, tell them For tuna sandwich, them. does cheddar cheese come in any at all with tuna sandwich? I'm not it's even gonna, to I'm you. not gonna give my opinion. I'm just asking. What what is your take on it? Should cheese be included in a tuna sandwich? Let me I know think what it's you your think. preference. I think it's based on the preference of the of the the cheeser to cheese or not to cheese. Kino said no, no, no. I agree. Nadine so, Johnson said no. All right, no then. Kadema said yuck. No, no. All right. So is 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 the listeners who are assembling the sandwich? Tell ask them what to put first. All right. So this is a setup question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we put first? Do you put your veggies first or I think if I, I don't know. 
I'll say I'm just watching. <laughs> <laughs> Double edged sword, Justin. <laughs> it takes away from the benefit of the tuna. No, it not take away from the benefit. Well, the, the, the taste, the flavor. The, the flavor, food. yeah. But, I mean, the nutritional benefit not going anywhere if you put cheese in it. Never there, but right. Never there, but tuna first, okay. But you know, so that's something we always think about. When somebody, okay. <clears throat> when you're drinking a cup of juice and it's sweet, 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 sweet. You know, say so if you add water to it and drink off the whole thing, it's still the same amount of sweet in everybody. Mm -hmm. So you have to throw off some of the sweet juice and add water to get the difference. You understand? Mm hmm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell them what, what type of vegetable you have and tell them if everything can work. Come I mean, nothing to me at all supposed to be. You ever been to Subway? Maybe. Uh -huh. mm. All right, so we're putting the tuna and just laying it all across the foot <laughs> of the foot, <laughs> the foot of bread. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And quarter eight years and the rest of mine. I'm loading really. I'm loading it in, but I'm leaving some for the little boy because he always stay at school and watch the, the live and say wow. Because <laughs> him figure say we'll, we'll fight him out by doing it when he's not here. But <laughs> hey, that's just how the system set up. So yeah. So generously pile on this. Um, this would be so good if it was a lobster salad, too, right? Mm -hmm. a lobster salad. Do that for dinner one day. All right, so yeah, this is the tuna laid all along the Do I zoom? of bread. Yeah. Do I zoom for food porn? Hmm? Do I zoom for the food porn? Now you want the music to play. Bam, bam, dun, dun. Zoom, zoom in. Let me show you how you do food porn. You say, whatever you want. Girl, I got it. Mm, 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 mm. Whatever you need, you know I got it. I'ma give you everything that you never I can. I'ma give the bread that now go tough. No, the bread not tough. All. Mm -mm. Far from tough. It was like freshly baked when we went there. It's super soft. All right, so what kind of vegetables do we typically put on our sandwich, our tuna sandwich? Because he's saying he doesn't think tomato should be on it, but I'm thinking it is a good thing to put on it. So what would you typically put on your tuna sandwich? Lettuce. Tomato. Carrot. Ask him if carrot is supposed to put on it. Well, lettuce here. Hold on, this lettuce is kind of big. Me thinks a carrot for go on it. Carrot? What kind of carrot? Vegetable. Stick to baritone. Base not fit you. <laughs> you see how they hurt my feelings? <laughs> uh, who says that? All. All you hurt my feelings. <laughs> Only lettuce? No carrot. <laughs> All right, so this is ice. Um, what do you call it? Not iceberg. Um, Romaine. My friend, Romaine lettuce. Romaine Virgo. Mm hmm. Onion. We have more sweet onion. Oh, we already put onion in the um the tuna. Put the slice on the yeah, but I'm saying if it already have, no, no, no carrots, please. Lettuce, tomato, cucumber, or pickle. I uh, will fight out my carrot. Kina, some have an announcement. Everybody say no carrot. What Kina announcement? No, 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 come here. 
You know those shredded carrots? I think it was the shredded carrots. I think the carrots could work to add some crunch, but we're not going to put that today. Pickles, yes. We already put some pickles. Relish, which is like pickles, eh? Yeah. We're supposed to have relish in one of them containers. Where? The, 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 the relish them with teeth out of the supermarket, out of the, the fast food place. Do you there. guys put ketchup on your sandwich? No. Why not? No. <laughs> Just, Anybody? Justin said pineapple. Justin, you are going too bad now. Justin, you are, you are going too bad now. Go pineapple. Too wicked, Justin. No carrots. Everybody I fight out my carrot, but Justin can't put pineapple door. Justin say Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, I work like you know now. Evie, I say I can jump on a plane, just hold my plate. <laughs> <laughs> Evie, are, is, are, are, are you Elva from Jamaica who works on the radio? I need to know if it's Elva who works on the radio. Evie, are you living in Jamaica? J J what is this Jesus? Jesus? Joseph? J U S E S. Word from England. <laughs> <laughs> them people and them ketchup. <laughs> no, she says she's um, Eolin Vivian in Houston. Oh, okay, okay. Big up Houston, Texas. One of these days, if the Lord should spare our life, we want to travel the USA. Yeah, we're going to do a tour. And stop at all the places where we can stop, where Jamaicans are. And have fun with the Jamaicans. Do, do comedy, stand-up comedy and all sorts of stuff. And we we'll cook fun. And we cook. Well, him cook and me will talk. <laughs> Him cook and me object. And she you are. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's one of them things. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, sure, then we'll come over here. Or when we reach closer to the. So, you said it, the cucumber on the side? Yeah, just put them down yourself. Let me tell you how to do the cucumber. Wanna be uh, I think, but I use another piece of pickle, you know, you think? Hmm? Pickle. What? You have more pickle or it's done? Pickle in our fridge. Alright, so this is what the sandwich is looking like so far. I think it needs a little bit of black pepper, but hey. <laughs> All right, so over here he is preparing some guacamole based on my request. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, you're cooking. I'll ask him if you're cooking dinner tonight. Maybe. We might we have go, two breadfruit for us. We might go on the grill tonight and throw in some molly pot things. Pan it, yes, me. EVR, so she lived in Fort Lauderdale. Girlfriend and I went to. Who? Lent beef. I don't know what that was. <laughs> then north to New York. Then up into New England. And down back to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> A tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might do dinner tonight. We might do a dinner on the grill tonight. All right, mix up this. Length of 10. All right, so. So what's in this guac? Onion, garlic? Green pepper, sweet pepper. Garlic? A little bit of garlic. Um, yeah, that's it. And you just rough, rough mash it. Mm -hmm, let me show them. And these are what they call Hass avocados, they look a small one with it with a little black skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. I like them. I like them a lot. 
and you pretty much just want to take your knife and and just you know take out the seed and you take your spoon and you just slide it around the edges lift out your avocado okay okay that is really adventurous um evr she said they took two and a half months and did what they want to do and stopped where they wanted to stop. So they were pretty much on a, a little tour. Awesome. Um, Shana said, hope you two come back tonight. Well? Well? <laughs> you see what goes on. Yes, man. Yes, I See that? And you make your avocado when them are normally is is when me come and find me learn about avocado and about, about guacamole, you know. Mm -hmm. Cause in Jamaica we just bust the pear and eat it with bulla. Mm -hmm. Eat it with bread, put it on the dinner side of the rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have no time for no you know, wait me in there. Just need some lime now. Yeah, I'm gonna put lime. Lime, lime, lime. I like avocado with a lot of garlic too. I'm gonna put some garlic powder. Mm. Tastes good. good, man. Mm -hmm. Good? Yep. And the lime is for two purposes. The lime oxidizes the, the, the avocado and make it don't go brown. Mm -hmm. And it adds flavor. Make it tangy and nice. Mm -hmm. And I have a umami taste bud. So I like when things are salty and sweet. So I always feel tempted to add a little bit of honey to my... Yes, Your mommy. Umami. Umami. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like to know why you tell you. May I tell my mother? And I squeeze the lime. Yeah. Squeeze the lime. Why well, that is giving me bacon bits vibe. <laughs> bacon bits can I, go in it, you know? I am also adding you can guys you can add if olive you, oil, a little olive oil, but I'm adding some flaxseed oil. And the flaxseed oil is very, very good, guys. Um, if you want good oils, you know, so I'm adding some flaxseed oil. It's, it's flavorless. Mm -hmm. So it really and truly is just adding, you know, good goodness to your body. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. Yes, Lord. <laughs> you know, you have to be in yourself, right? <laughs> and it, it will black pepper now. Yes. <laughs> See, and your guacamole is, is basically guacted. What about corn? They don't put corn in guacamole? You can put corn, you can put, um, wait in there, chickpeas, you know, all of them stuff they can yeah, put in guacamole. Yeah. Kino, you know, eat guacamole. I know, so Kino, eat guacamole. So. Seem there again. With the madness? What do you mean by seem there again? Uh, uh, man. <laughs> Hold on there. <laughs> Only just found this channel, subbed. We be watching breakfast stream every week now. <laughs> we <laughs> have up. Antigan here, so always big up yourself, Antigua. The authentic Caribbean food. You know what? Yesterday we were actually looking on the internet and looking at the national dish for every Antigua, single yeah. Caribbean yeah. island. What was it that I was looking for up here? To do what? The black pepper. Uh, yeah, the black pepper. Yeah, we were looking at the national dish of every single island, and we have this desire within us that we hope to um travel to all the islands travel to all the islands and meet up with at least one person from each island to, to to cook the national dish for us so yeah you know that's something that we are definitely going to work towards and we're gonna try to seek sponsorship for from some big company some airline and thing so if you're in the caribbean we are coming we come in. And we help us in. help believe with us, guys. This is not a joke thing what we're doing. So believe with us that it is possible for us to accomplish, you know, certain dreams that we have. Yes. And we, I, one of the things I would love to do is to travel around America, for instance, and mm -hmm. view it from the standpoint of a, a Caribbean national or a Jamaican, you know? Put some black up on that too. Mm -hmm. Sorry to cut you. You know, and that would be so awesome because a lot of Jamaicans, Caribbean people come here and wherever we land, the port of entry is where we stay and we never leave, you know, right, and that would right. be so awesome to travel around and uh, and view the, 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 the country, you know. Right, 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 right. I want to... <laughs> I 
it true. We can't get it in the right angle. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Now we have to add the song. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I have no sense. I, I promise you, none. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Hold on, let me get a good picture of this sandwich. It's been a pleasure be having you with us this morning. I I would love it if you guys would just put a thumbs up in our page on our page. Give us a cute thumbs up there, so that we can get good ratings on YouTube. Yeah, but this is the sandwich. This is the dish. You want to put the guacamole in, a, in another bowl? Mm -hmm. A presentation hold on. bowl? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, this is the sandwich, guys. And we're pretty much just going to cut that in two and devour it. This part right here, over here, so, is just for her. You're crazy. Right here. And then the rest down here, so, is for me. All of here, so. So, this is my half. My half is that side. All right. <laughs> put this over there somewhere. I need a good little thing. thing. This need you need to play this in a different. No, something. I know. I, I'm just trying to get. She don't want to listen. Vision, please. Once again, guys, we thank you so much. Let me see. Good morning, Article Woman. Good morning. Good morning. Elva says it's looking good. Ever says it's looking good. Good morning once again. We're trying our best to do what we can do to make our, our 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 breakfast live be one that is entertaining, one that you guys love. And uh, see the guacamole, it looks so nice. It tastes good, see man. You see, uh, let me tell you, oh guacamole, nice. How this post look, guys? That look good. See, that looks very nice. And guys, remember you can you can um you can um join with us on on put, go in 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 the live and and put um the information you can join with us on instagram i am uh, my instagram page is jamaican comedian saint hope yes jamaican comedian saint hope and you can join with us there and you can join with my wifey on her uh instagram page which is one true natural one true natural and guys we're always gonna be trying our best so we appreciate you guys for staying with us and hanging out with us and we do hope that you have yourself an awesome day we are hoping to come on this afternoon please bear with us and pray for us as we try our best to do what we can do like share subscribe comment and check out uh just remember that little bell icon that's on the page if you click that little bell icon you will get notifications as to when we are on all right so please guys go ahead and uh, do what you have to do once again thank you so much for joining us <laughs> shauna james says yum ever says the guacamole is always good thank you guys once again so much we appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of our hearts. Have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a wonderful day. And look out for us, because guess what? We have two breadfruit for the roast. Two breadfruit. I mean, I know if we roast it with saltfish or with jerk chicken. Yeah? Beverly Chambers, we're making tuna salad today. Yeah, tuna salad. Say, look, see the tuna salad there? Eh? Tuna sandwich. Al respect my brother respect so much we appreciate the comments and the encouragement and uh, thanks once again guys for you know letting it be yada belly tv that you are spending your morning with we appreciate it see you again soon 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 bless up just just us said bless for next time 100 percent respect and manners bye guys talk to you soon <laughs>